Aniston police are investigating a homicide that occurred over the Labor Day holiday weekend. A calm weather pattern this week all across East Alabama. We'll have the complete forecast details coming up. Coming up in sports, we'll take a look at some guys who had big weekends on the high school field. We'll also talk a little Jack State football. All that coming up. EA in Local News starts now. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waldrop Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Good evening and thank you for watching East Alabama Now Local News for Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. I'm Mike Stedham. And I'm Katie Edwards. Police arrested an Aniston man Saturday for the early morning shooting death of another Aniston resident. Officials say they've charged Derek Jerome Matthews with the death of James Delaney Johnson and placed him in the Calhoun County Jail where he now awaits the setting of bail. Officers say they were called to investigate a shooting that took place at a home on the 1500 block of East 11th Street around 5 o'clock Saturday morning. When they arrived, Aniston police found Johnson dead, apparently from a gunshot wound. Investigators believe that the victim got into a fight with Matthews and that led to the shooting. Police say their investigation is continuing. Students and faculty members joined together on the front steps of the Theron Montgomery building Monday evening at a memorial service for Mariah Cassiano. The 22-year-old Aniston woman who worked as a cashier in the TMB food court was found dead in her dorm room last week. She was a graduate of Sachs High School and a psychology major at JSU. She recently made the Dean's List and was awarded a Nathan Jackson Sparks Memorial Scholarship from the Community Foundation of Northeast Alabama. She was scheduled to graduate in December. Authorities have not yet announced a cause of death since Mariah was found unresponsive in her campus residence on Wednesday. When we come back, we'll give you the latest report on Aniston's current economic conditions. For metal buildings in Alabama and the Southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop Metal Building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop Buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. Anison officials this morning released economic data showing that the city made significant progress during fiscal 2023 and the outlook for more development is also strong. For instance, Aniston's overall housing costs are 41% lower than the national average, making it the seventh most affordable U.S. city to live in, according to Kiplinger Magazine. Meanwhile, Business Facilities Magazine ranked Aniston as the 10th most affordable small city to do business in for 2023. Over the past five years, Aniston has seen a surge in entrepreneurial activity, issuing more than 100 new business licenses annually. Aniston's skyline is also evolving. With more than $44.1 million invested in residential and commercial construction contracts in 2023. That's an 18.5% increase from the previous year, making the largest construction investment in over a decade. Aniston City revenue is another benchmark of its recent growth. Sales tax revenues have increased 27% since 2015, and general fund revenues have risen by 23% during the same period. The city is also transforming the quality of life for its residents with more than $20 million worth of projects nearing completion. Among these are the City Market, the Layton Avenue Paving Project, the Dr. Satcher and St. Michael's Health Clinic, affordable housing initiatives such as Barber Terrace and the South Allen Duplex Apartments, Noble Street Park, expansion of the Anniston Regional Fire Training Center, the Force Factory expansion at the Anniston Museums and Gardens, the Martha Vandervoort Center to end homelessness, and the highly anticipated Chief Ladiga Trail expansion that will go into downtown Anniston. 
When we come back, Talladega police are trying to revive a cold case murder investigation from two years ago. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Talladega police say they are now offering a $2,500 reward for information about a homicide that occurred two years ago. The victim, 17-year-old Damarian Miller, was found shot to death in a home on Tenney Street on the afternoon of August 1, 2021. Witnesses told police a vehicle drove by and three male subjects began shooting from the vehicle. The vehicles then fled the scene. Talladega investigators said roughly 51 shell casings were recovered from the scene. In an effort to revitalize the investigation, Central Alabama Crime Stoppers has increased the original cash reward from $1,000 to $2,500 in exchange for information leading to the arrest of the suspect involved in this fatal shooting. If you have any information regarding this crime, you may call Crime Stoppers at 334-215-STOP or 1-833-AL1-STOP. Okay, so the Labor Day weekend is over, summer officially over, That's what they but <laughs> nobody told the people in charge of the weather, I don't think. That's right, and joining us to tell us a little bit more about what's going on outside is John Holder in the EAN Weather Center. John, tell us about it. Just very small rain chances coming up this week across East Alabama. The rain chances only 20 to 30% over the next couple of days. Otherwise, we are dry all the way through the weekend. We'll have the complete forecast for all of East Alabama next. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. Well, it is the day after Labor Day, and that is the unofficial ending of summertime and the, I guess, the unofficial beginning of fall, but not in Alabama. Temperature's still in the 90s. It's still summertime, folks. 90 for the high today after a morning low of 69, both of those above average for this time of year. Your record high temperature 100, record low 51. Sunrise time now. 621 and look at that sunset time now at 704 almost dark now at seven o'clock in the evening weather on your street for your tuesday night going to take you out to red road 55 in the white plains area pretty nice evening partly cloudy skies 68 degrees for the low tonight out in eastern calhoun county in white plains Coming up on your Wednesday, going to take you out to Lloyd Street in Welburn. There's a chance of a couple of afternoon showers tomorrow. That chance of rain is only about 20%. That will be late tomorrow afternoon, perhaps even after 4 o'clock out Welburn Way. And uh, that's pretty much the forecast for all of East Alabama. Maybe a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms. No big deal with that. Away from those storms, most folks are going to see plenty of sunshine and the high tomorrow at 91. For the rest of the week, again, pretty calm weather across East Alabama. Sunny and warm. Shamrock Road in the Golden Springs area of Anniston. Upper 80s, low 90s will be in the upper uh, lower 90s for the next couple of days and some upper 80s later on in the week. We just don't see anything standing out as far as the weather goes for the next couple of days. Really pleasant, sunny and warm in Golden Springs and all across Calhoun and Cleburne counties. The seven-day forecast. 
looking for a 20% chance of a shower late tomorrow afternoon, a 20% chance of a shower Thursday afternoon. We'll keep highs in the low 90s, and then we hit a dry spell once again. High temperatures will be about average for this time of year. We'll be in the upper 80s beginning on Friday, taking us all the way through the weekend. Monday, of course, is September the 11th, and we'll still be in the upper 80s, and we're going to see nighttime lows fairly pleasant. We'll be in the 60s, maybe some lower 60s for the weekend. Uh, no chance of rain in the forecast. All in all, a pretty good forecast for early September here in East Alabama. So we're trying to find some rainfall for East Alabama. We're going to look at the tropics out here. Two systems way out in the Atlantic. This is the one of interest. This is coming off the coast of Africa. This is, I guess, this is disturbance number 13 that is coming, tropical depression 13. Uh, a high significance that this is going to develop into a major hurricane, but right now the computer models are saying this thing's going to curve out into the Atlantic, as we have seen a lot of storms do this year, and not a threat to us here in the Gulf of Mexico, which would affect us here in East Alabama. So again, that is long ways out there, and we don't see any threat to the continental United States at this time. So again, dry weather in store for the foreseeable future. Coming up next in sports, Chase Robinson going to talk some high school football. Chase. Thanks, John. Week one of the high school football season is in the book, so it's time to name our EAN Sports Top Dudes of week one. First up, Oxford's Kamari Hampton. He had nine catches for 179 yards and three touchdowns including a 57-yard touchdown as the Yellow Jackets took down Huntsville 35-6. Also on the list, Ohatchee running back Nate Jones, who had 151 yards on 28 attempts in the win for the Indians over Welburn 26-7. And Pleasant Valley's Clark Hill rushed for 121 yards. He had two touchdowns in the Raiders' 40 to nothing win over Donahoe. Those are the EA and Sports Top Dudes of the Week for Week 1. In other high school sports news, Oxford High School's Hudson Gilman announced today via Twitter that he is committed to play baseball for Steve Beezer at Jacksonville State. Gilman plays catcher and pitched some this season, was a big part of the Yellow Jackets' run to the 6A state championship this past season. Gilman is in his senior year at Oxford. Saturday, the Jacksonville State Gamecocks picked up win number two of the season as they took down East Tennessee State 49-3. Zion Webb was unable to start at quarterback on Saturday because of sickness, and so Nebraska transfer Logan Smothers started and was 13 of 17 with 127 yards and a touchdown in the air. He also had 48 yards rushing with two touchdowns. With the performance by Smothers, it opens up a new situation for Rich Rod. Now we got an interesting uh, dilemma, huh? It's not a dilemma. I think it's an interesting situation. Now I got I got two starting quarterbacks. I got Zion Webb and Logan Smothers. Who's going to start on Saturday? What time's the game start? <laughs> Six. You'll know 601. What? It, yeah, I, th I feel confident in both of them. You know, Logan's getting better and better, and Zion's a good football player when he's healthy and feeling good. <laughs> you know, and I don't, you know, you, sometimes you have, so, well, you can't lose your, you're not going to lose your starting job because you're hurt or sick. You're, you're not losing your starting job because you're hurt or sick. You'd lose your starting job because maybe somebody's playing better. But Zion's a good football player, and he'll have a good week of practice. He's a competitive guy. Logan will have a good week of practice, and right now I feel like I got. Uh, two starting quarterbacks. One very bright spot on this Gamecock team this year is the defense. The Jack State defense has forced seven turnovers this season, which is the most in the country. They had three against UTEP last week and recorded four turnovers this past Saturday against ETSU. Senior defensive lineman Jackson Luttrell talks about the pride the defense takes in being able to get what the defense calls takeaways. Coach Alley. I mean, he, he harps on just taking the ball away. Like, he don't really, we don't really call them turnovers, we call them takeaways. We want to take the ball away from them as much as possible and give it back to our offense and put us in the best chance to be able to continue to score, continue to um, put pressure on those guys. And I think we, most of our turnovers, I would say, would be from just playing relentless, just playing hard, doing our job, and just playing as hard as we can. Just act like, try to be like there's 13 guys on the field just attacking. The harder you play, the more turnovers you get. 
you know, you seem to be the, you know, when the ball's on the ground, if you're playing hard, you got more people around it to bounce on the ball. Or the ball's tipped up in the air, like we saw a couple of times, the harder you play, the more guys that are around to pick it off. So it all goes back to to having like a sense of urgency and, and, and playing really, really hard all the time. And that's it for sports. Let's send it back over to Mike and Katie. Thank you for watching East Alabama Now Local News. You can find us here online every weekday evening on either Facebook or YouTube. Just go to our video feed and watch the news whenever it's convenient for you. We'll see you back here Wednesday for your news on your schedule.